Catherine Dunham was born on June 22, 1909, in Chicago, Illinois, to an African-American father, Albert Miller Dunham, and to a French-Canadian mother, Fanny June Dunham. Catherine Dunham is a famous pioneer in dance anthropology with her study and performance in African and African-American dance technique. She, she earned her bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees in anthropology from the University of Chicago by 1936. While in college, she taught dance classes to young children and founded the first all-African-American dance company called Ballet's Negress. In 1933, Dunham opened her first dance school called the Negro Dance Group in Chicago, where they performed at the Chicago Bowls Art Theater in a play called The Negro Rhapsody Dancing with the Chicago Dance Company. After her performance, she received a grant from the Julius Wolzenwald Fund, who offered to finance any study contributing towards her dance career. She traveled to regions such as the West Indies, Trinidad, Jamaica, and Cuba, and Haiti. This was a detailed two-year study that involved observing the sacred ritual of dance and the religious ceremonies. Shango is one of the gods of, from Africa that uh, has been maintained through the Caribbean, through the entire African diaspora. Shango is very strong, God that one associated with uh, an iron will and a determination that, uh, that could bring things about, bring them to happen. In 1945, she opened the Dunham School of Dance and Theater in New York City on 71st Street which became one of the most prominent dance schools in the U.S. Also, Dunham made history as the first African-American to own property between Fifth and Park Avenue. In 1964, the Performing Arts Training Center was founded in East St. Louis, which was designed to inspire and educate local African-Americans about African heritage, culture, and art history. She was a pioneer artist with few peers in her field and universally studied, written about, and praised across disciplines, not only from the perspective of dance and the arts, but also through the lenses of anthropology, sociology, and psychology. The life and work of Catherine Dunham uniquely formed around academic circles, as well as pushing boundaries within high and mass culture.